Hi, this is Rolf, Block Ops. I've got a quick update for you. It's July 9th, and I'm here at my small office, which is also a mining facility. And uh, it's July, it's hot, it's gonna get over 100 degrees in here. I figured I'd uh, give a quick tour of this facility for y'all who don't uh, see mining up close. So I've got a bunch of GPU miners in here, been mining Zen Cash for a while, and I've put in some uh, things to get the airflow properly, and um, I have to do some adjustments and tuning to make sure that these things continue to work well. Got a lot of air flowing through here. Got a big fan that you can probably hear in the background. And um, yeah, that's, that's what we got going on. So, miners do an essential part of keeping our blockchain uh, strong and solving the transactions. And it's an important part of what we do. So uh, hopefully we'll always be able to continue to mine Zen. So I've got a, a quick update. I know it's been a few weeks since uh, I did a video. So we have a, a big update on the blog that I encourage you to read that has a lot of this information as well. Part of what I want to let everybody know is we've got a hard fork coming up on Friday this week. And the hard fork accomplishes a few things. Um, we update the community fund addresses to the uh, directors that are, or the advisors that are on the Zen Blockchain Foundation, which we also created. Uh, fix an issue with pay to script hash uh, that we needed to do. And we add 3.5% uh, redirect from the mining reward for secure nodes. Uh, secure node development is in progress. We expect to see some beta software here for parts of it um, in uh, early August. And we're doing this in parallel with uh, a block explorer uh, RFP as well as enabling open uh, SSL uh, on, uh, on the Zen node software. So we also have a new graphical user interface wallet for Mac and Windows and Linux called the Swing Wallet, which some of you might remember was the first GUI wallet for Zcash. Um, so Vaklanov is developing the wallet for Zen Cash now, which is great. And we also have our Elios wallet. So uh, as the hard fork uh, happens, the really people that really need to update are the pool operators and the exchanges. Those, that's, that's most important. Uh, anybody who has a wallet does not have to update the wallet until they want to use it. Um, but it's not, uh, you don't have to do exporting private keys or importing private keys. You just have to update the wallet software. It'll go to your wallet uh, file and get your keys and everything will be good there. You can keep your funds on the exchanges. You, it's, this is straightforward. Now, I do encourage everybody, having said that, to practice proper wallet safety, have multiple backups, export your uh, wallet file, um, and you know, back up your PC and all sorts of things like that. Um, we've got an updated website, check it out, and all sorts of resources there. We try to keep it up with the different uh, mining pools and all sorts of different information and leaks or links or continually going through and updating that information. Uh, we're working on marketing and PR. You're, gonna, you're starting to see some campaigns here. You're going to see more of that. Uh, getting the word out is really important to what we're doing. So we're going to continue doing that. And we've got a roadmap update in the blog. And uh, so take a look at that. That's a, a, a part of this uh, overall update. And uh, yeah, it's hot here in Georgia and I'm sweating. And that's just the way it is when you run some mining facilities and are involved in cryptocurrency here. So that's the big time update. And uh, please, if you're running a mining pool or doing other things that are essential to the infrastructure for Zencash, go ahead and do the update to the hard fork that's supposed to take place around midday on Friday. Again, this is Rolf, Block Ops. Thank you.